Welcome to the scary shit. I was awakened by something shaking my shoulder. A hand. I startled. What the fuck? There was a large hairy creature sitting next to me on my bed. You left me hanging, it said. I slithered up as close to my headboard as was humanly possible. What? Your story. You had me kill that family in their sleep and eat their dad's liver. And then, you just quit writing. What the hell was this beast talking about? I had written a story earlier that ended in just that way, but... I'm a sensitive creature, it said. You gotta give me a better ending than that. Are you saying you're my creature? From my story? Of course I am, dumbass. Don't you recognize me? I had to admit, the creature looked just as I had imagined it when I had written the story. But Jesus. And her, too. It said. You left her hanging, too. <laughs> Don't leave me like this. A little girl, who was now standing beside my bed, dripping blood from her stump of an arm, said. She looked suspiciously like a character from a story I'd written. A few days back. You had the alligator bite off my arm and then you just left me. Come on, dude. The beast said rather unpleasantly. You, you gotta, gotta help, help us, us out, out here. I'll spare you the conversation that ensued about dreams and impossibilities. Instead, I'll cut straight to the part where I went to my computer to finish their stories. In short, this is what I wrote. After slaughtering the family, the creature began rediscovering his humanity. He heard a little girl crying on the back porch, so he went to investigate, finding the poor lass crumpled and bleeding on the steps. He quickly put a tourniquet around her stump, scooped her up in his arms, and started running towards the nearest hospital. Yeah, I like that. The creature commented. As he crossed the street, however, a garbage truck came out of nowhere and ran the pair down, killing them both. I waited. Nothing but silence. Interestingly, but expectedly, when I looked behind me, both the creature and the little girl were gone. And before you think badly of me for killing off the little girl, I remind you of this. She was a fictional character. Satisfied that my work was done, I started back to bed. I heard a large truck pull up in front of my house, which caused me pause. A few moments later, there was a knock at my door. Apprehensively, I answered and found a garbage truck at my curb and a man, or something like a man, standing on my porch. The man had no face, no features, no fingers. He looked like a clay figure that was only half finished. It occurred to me that I'd hardly considered him as I'd written about the truck. I knew what I had to do. Follow me. I said, and led him back to my computer. Tonight's Scary was written by D. 
the autistic and featured special guest Josie Kitty 89 special shout out to all the teachers the scary show loves and appreciates you for everything you do if you enjoy the stories you find here click the like button think of it as applause at the end of a performance if you haven't already subscribe and click the bell for all notifications it's the top icon share this story with everyone you can so that others may discover the scary show questions comments suggestions leave them down below the scary show always answers the fans thank you for watching and i'll see you next week with a brand new episode of the scary show